Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to tackle a topic that a lot of Christians wonder about, especially as the month of October rolls in. Should Christians really celebrate Halloween? Halloween has become such a big part of our culture, from spooky decorations to costume parties and of course a lot of candy. It's hard to avoid it, but do you think it's something that we should get involved with? So let's go back in time to the origins of Halloween. Where did it come from and what or who was behind it? Halloween traces its roots back to the ancient Celtic festival known as Samhain, celebrated on the night of October 31st. The Celts believed that during this time, the boundary between the living and the dead was particularly weak. It was thought that spirits could cross into our world, leading to fear powered by superstition. To protect themselves, the Celts lit on fires, wore costumes, and left offerings for the dead. On Samhain, the villagers gathered and lit huge bonfires to drive the dead back to the spirit world and keep them away from the living. But as the Catholic Church's influence grew in Europe, it frowned on the pagan rituals like Samhain. This was not just innocent fun. These practices were deeply rooted in paganism and the occult. They believed that disguising themselves would confuse the spirits and protect them from evil forces. As Christianity spread, the church was looking to reclaim this pagan festival. In the 8th century, Pope Gregory III designated November 1st as All Saints Day, a day to honor all saints and martyrs. The night before, known as All Hallows Eve, eventually became known as Halloween. This transition from pagan practices to a Christian observance was an effort to transition the festival into something that aligned with Christian values. Their goal? Both of these holidays had to do with the afterlife and about survival after death. It was a calculated move on the part of the church to bring more people into the fold. As greater numbers often lead to increased influence and power. However, many of the original elements like fear, death and the supernatural remained. Over time, Halloween evolved from a solemn remembrance of the dead into a commercial holiday worth billions of dollars. Yes, billions with a B. And one where consumerism overshadows any spiritual roots. It's all about the candy and costumes now. Today, Halloween is marketed as a fun holiday, largely aimed at children, filled with trick or treating, haunted houses, and spooky decorations. But behind this festival appearance lies a troubling reality. A significant part of Halloween revolves around things that the Bible warns us about. Darkness, fear and the occult. Whether it's witches, ghosts or horror movies, this holiday glorifies the very thing God calls us to avoid. Curiosity is not a virtue. <laughs> and if you start digging into the occult and, and the dark world and things like that, you're opening a door. And you might not be strong enough to close it. And then you've invited something into your life that you don't want. In Ephesians 5.11, we are reminded and have no fellowship with unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. As believers, we are called to stand out and live in a way that reflects the light and love of Christ. It's easy to think of Halloween as just a fun tradition, but we need to ask ourselves, does this honor God? Are we truly adopting Christ's mission when we engage in a holiday whose roots are based on fear and the occult? So if Halloween isn't something that Christians should celebrate, what can we do instead? Are there any alternatives that allow us to enjoy this season in a way that honors God? Absolutely. Many churches host fall festivals or harvest events focused on community fun and gratitude to God. These alternatives provide a safe and wholesome environment where we can enjoy the season without compromising our faith. Instead, we can use this time to spread the gospel. You can do so many things. Maybe fulfill a need, spend the day with the poor, or host a prayer night with family and friends. It is possible for us to turn this time into an opportunity to shine the light of Christ instead of celebrating darkness. I have three Bible verses I love and want to share with you. I believe you can use them as guidance to help avoid participating in Halloween and have no fellowship with unfruitful works of darkness but rather reprove them. Abstain from 
all appearance of evil. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that useth divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. So thank you so much for watching and if this video encouraged you or gave you something to think about, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend and don't forget to subscribe for more faith-based content. And let's keep the conversations going in the comments below. God bless and I'll see you in the next one, hopefully. You don't know what happens tomorrow?